to Seeds for Change. My name is James Satcher. Uh, we're learning about the importance and the power of our words, the words we speak out of our mouth. Uh, I want to give, this is going to be kind of a base scripture. This is going to be a foundation scripture. It's Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Okay. What more could we say, right? I mean, literally it says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. I know what you're thinking. How does that make sense? Well, here's an example of life coming from your tongue. You know, the Bible tells us that if we believe in our heart and we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. Think about it. That's the ultimate example of life coming from what we say, coming from our tongue. Eternal life can literally be laid hold on by first having a belief in our heart and then saying it out of our mouth. It just doesn't get any bigger or more eternal, more uh, you know, important than that, right? Life and then death are in the power of our tongue. You know, uh, Jesus even says that when we speak, he says that you know those that you bless will be blessed and those that you condemn will be condemned. That's what he told his disciples. There's power in our words, and sometimes we don't realize that what we say, if we say, you know, I like that person, I think God's got a plan for them, and I'm looking forward to seeing it come to pass, I believe in them. Just a simple statement like that can change someone's life and can change the way they look at you and the way they look at Jesus um, just because of our words. Speak in life. See, we don't want to be, you know, the Bible talks about how you don't want to be a stream that gives, you know, good water and bad water. You don't want to be a tree that gives good fruit and bad fruit at the same time. That's the way our mouth can be if we let it be that way. But what we want to do is make the decision that our life, our words are always going to be in line with the Bible, with the Word of God, with Scripture. And we want to always be speaking life and health and blessing out of our mouth. You know, John the disciple, when he was writing to uh, the churches, this is what he said. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. What an awesome example of speaking in life. That's the first thing he said in his epistle, in his letter that he wrote to these churches. He said, I want you to be prosperous. I want you to be in health. These preachers that get on TV or uh, on the internet and say that God doesn't want you to prosper and He doesn't want you to be healthy, they're disagreeing with the Word. They're disagreeing with what John said. They're disagreeing with what Jesus said. They're di disagreeing with the Bible. We want to line our words up with what God has to say. So we want to speak life to others. We want to tell people that they're more than conquerors. That they can do all things through Christ who strengthens them. That God has a good plan for them to prosper them and not to harm them. We're going to be going into this um, just more in depth Tomorrow, we're going to be learning even more, and we're going to revisit some of these scriptures because they're so powerful. Um, but the one that we're basing or starting on is death and life, or in the power of the tongue, and then the rest of it, and those who love it will eat its fruit. That's Proverbs 18, verse 21. Thanks so much. Don't miss tomorrow.